Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us for this wonderful webinar. The title of my presentation is Failing Successfully, Preventing, Responding to, and Overcoming Failures. Failures are part and parcel of life. They are signposts on the journey to success. Without confronting failures, you would never have truly lived and succeeded in anything. Failures are good servants, but they are bad masters. They act as feedback to help you learn, improve, and achieve better results. As mere detours on the journey of life, they serve to correct and help you achieve better results. Failures inculcated many positive values in you. These values stayed with you long after you have forgotten many lessons that you have learned in a classroom. They help you live wisely. Failure is not final unless you fail to learn from it and you press on towards a higher level of achievement. Therefore, learn how to fail successfully so as to achieve enduring successes in your life. In short, you can successfully fail your way to success. Let me share with you a real life story. In 1990, my partner and I started a business together. Unfortunately, we were conned into selling a new product in an untested market and we were kept in the dark about its side effects. Within a short period of time, we had many unhappy customers at our doorsteps. The company was inundated with a growing number of complaints, threats, and even potential legal issues. Every single cent we had was poured into trying to dig the company out of the ever-deepening pits of hell. It was almost impossible for us to turn the corner. Meanwhile, we could not start a new business nor look for a job. We were painted into a corner and there seemed to be no way out of it. When I reflected about this and many other failures in my life, I realized every one of them carries seeds of meaning, purpose and significance. Our creator placed it there to mold and shape me so that I could be prepared for a higher calling and greater achievements. Of course, I can grumble, grouse and gripe about them. It can also make me view life negatively. On the other hand, I can choose to see failures not as problems, but as opportunities to achieve success. And that was, hap what, and that was what happened to my partner and me. When we could not look outwards for a solution, we look upwards and inwards. Thankfully, by a stroke of divine inspiration, we decided to totally transform our business model. Instead of feeling depressed and wallowing in sorrow, we started to dream big dreams. All my life, I chose to have the courage to dream big dreams. My fear is that I may join the throng that have lost their dreams and desire for dreaming. Perhaps because our desperation quotient, or DQ in short, was at its peak, we dared to dream what many would call an impossible dream. We wanted to change the world. More specifically, we wanted to change the world through education. We believed that education was one of the greatest equalizers in life. It was a fast track to help people expand their potential, enhance their performances, and achieve their pursuits. At that point in time, we made a commitment. As we do our part to contribute to the education industry, we will turn our awesome dream into a reality. We had a big dream, but a simple plan. In short, we told ourselves, we will facilitate world-class gurus to train ordinary persons on the streets. What's more, we will make the technology transfer available, accessible, and affordable. By doing that, we will improve standards of performance and quality of life. We will strengthen communities and make the world a better home. The rest, as I would like to tell you, was history. But history was not that easily crafted. Richard and I faced many seemingly insurmountable challenges. Along the way, we had more than our fair share of discouragements, even from those who were close to us. 
we also went through many deep-seated fears and painful failures. I realized while I may not be able to stop many failures from happening, I can prevent it from affecting me negatively. If I cannot change the circumstances, I can certainly change myself. There is nothing wrong with failure. It is how you respond to it that makes it good or bad. You may not be able to change the challenges. However, you can change your response to them by finding meaning in these experiences and values from them. You may not be able to change the situation where you can look for the purpose in the situation and rise above the situation. You can take massive actions to live a better life. Instead of giving up as a victim, you can rise up to become a victor in the journey of life. I did not realize at the point that my beliefs would be subjected to severe tests and reinforcements. In our innocent mind, we thought that with our noble dream, we would have no problem getting support for our life-changing business and gaining traction. It looked easy until we hit the first roadblock. Our first long-distance call was to Mr. Tom Hopkins, an internationally renowned trainer. We had rehearsed a well-crafted script to win him over to our altruistic mission. It did not take long to convince him to fly all the way to Asia to be our first keynote speaker. In fact, he sounded very passionate about helping us. Our goal was almost accomplished until he quoted to us his professional fees. When we heard it, we felt like a massive truck had smashed into our hearts. Our dream almost died on the spot. He was asking far more money than our projected revenue for the seminar. In fact, it was even more than the profit that we have ever earned for a whole year at a point. To make matters worse, his fees did not cover his traveling accommodation and out-of-pocket expenses. It was almost impossible to pay him and keep the company afloat. However, our minds went on an overdrive. Failures forced us to think and decide on the desired outcomes. It spurred us to learn how to overcome them and achieve success. When we took the proverbial bull by its horn and respond to it positively, it changed us and improved the situation. We can leverage on failures to become wiser and stronger persons. We decided that we would never run away from a failure. Our desire to fulfill our dreams was stronger than the fear of failure. Our determination to succeed was greater than paying the price for it. We spent many days and nights exploring all the possibilities, but every one of them could not work. That was true until my partner came to me with a near impossible idea. He told me excitedly one day, why don't we book the indoor stadium for the Congress? If we can fill up the whole indoor stadium, we can afford to pay Mr. Tom Hopkins. And at the same time, we can even make it affordable for every working person to attend our life-changing program. My immediate response was, are you crazy? Nobody has ever used the stadium for training purposes. Besides, it is too expensive. There are too many risks and it may end up killing our business. We may even become bankrupt. You can imagine I was putting on the best persuasion cap. I must have exhausted all reasons to stop my partner from committing commercial suicide. And my partner just stopped me midstream and asked me a simple question. Why not? Why can't we dare to dream and turn the dream into a reality? That question stunned me for a moment and caused me to reflect over our mission. I was reminded that Success Resources, the company that we founded, was built on a vision to touch lives, bless families, enhance communities, and improve society. The question that haunted my mind was, why am I not prepared to stake my all to turn the vision into a reality? How can I not get out of my comfort zone to transform lives? Truth be told, it is not failure that has stopped many people on their 
journey to success. It is their fear of failure. It is unfortunate that when they run away from the fear of failure, they also run away from the fruits of success. Failure is a temporary feedback. It will only become terminal when you give up trying and believing that you can succeed. Tragically, many people are defeated before they even leave their house and experience failure. They have already failed in their minds, and that is one of the worst failures. Life has taught us that the person who usually wins is the person who never give up trying. We decided to burn all our bridges and invested literally everything we owned to book the indoor stadium and organize the Congress. Many people thought we have gone off our rockers, including the manager running the stadium who was visibly shocked by our endeavor. We discovered when you have an electrifying dream, many people will rally behind you to support your dream. Within a short while, we sold about 1,500 tickets. Excited with, the initial, excited with the initial results, we called Mr. Tom Hopkins to share with him the good news. And that was when we had another shock of our life. He told us, I will not and I cannot speak at your Congress. The reason is we do not have a contract. I may be engaged during that period. Having brought up with the belief that my word is my bond, I could not believe my ears. We had gone through the details and gotten a verbal agreement from him. How could he walk out on us? Okay, that was an excuse. I had to blame someone else and justify for my failure to conduct my dealing properly. That was the way of losers. Fortunately, I recovered fairly quickly and returned back to the straight and narrow way. You may have realized that failure does not happen accidentally. It is usually the result of a bad decision and negative behavior. More often than not, a failure is a culmination of a series of small little mistakes. Nothing wrong with that. After all, major discoveries got their breakthroughs after a series of errors. Destinations were reached through a series of missteps. Problem starts when these errors are ignored and not responded in a positive way. When we do not learn from a failure, we have failed a second time and in one of the worst possible ways. Take full responsibility for the failure. In other words, develop and exercise your ability to respond to a failure. Some of the saddest words that I've ever heard or read are, I could have some of the saddest words that I've ever heard or read are, I could have done something about it. These regrets could not unwind the clock and put the right outcomes. Some of the saddest words that I've ever heard or read are, I could have done something about it. These regrets could not unwind the clock and put right the final outcomes of a failure. Instead of walking away, we decided to confront the odds. We took the next possible flight to negotiate for the live boy to save our business, a contract with Mr. Tom Hopkins. Long story short, the National Achievers Congress became the first and still the only series of personal development seminars to be held at the indoor stadium. We had invited not just one, but eight other world-class speakers to inspire and influence thousands of hungry minds. We took the company to heights that no other company has been able to achieve. Not only were we able to consistently fill the indoor stadium and many other convention halls that were subsequently developed, we went on to achieve similar feats in many other countries. More importantly, we have lost count on the thousands of lives who melted our hearts with words such as Thank you. Your seminar changed my life. I became rich and wealthy. You guys save our marriage and family. And the frequently heard our business was able to take off. We are proud of the fact that we became one of the pioneers in life skills training for adults. 
Many of our participants became renowned authors, trainers, coaches, and subsequently became our partners in the exciting talent development industry. These achievements and many other concrete examples of how we were shaping lives motivated us these achievements and many other concrete examples of how we were shaping lives motivated us to increase the stakes and expand our dream. We took on even more and bigger challenges. The more we focused on our dreams, the less formidable the challenges became. I wish I could tell you that there was a fairy tale ending to the story, but life had many other shocks and surprises in store for us. The growth of our company could only be described as phenomenal. Spurred on by the success, we continue to reinvest all our profits to press on to change the world. And just when we were about to see a glimpse of the new world, and just when we were about to see a glimpse of the new world, tragedy struck. My partner was diagnosed with cancer. When I heard about the sad news, I confessed that I harbored thoughts of closing the company. I could not bear to see my partner, one of my best friends, suffer in the process of managing the business and worst, to see the fruits of his labor go down the drain. No, I did not want him to fail. Later, I realized the only certain way not to fail is to live for nothing and do nothing with our life. Life then is not worth the living. If you live without facing the potential of failures, you have failed to live. In fact, you should expect to fail every now and then. Otherwise, chances are you are not going to go very fast and go very far in your life. The only way to be a winner in life is to go through every failure and grow as a result of the failure. My partner's sicknesses, my partner's sickness could not have happened at a worse time. We had expanded into many countries by then and we had launched a range of new products and services. He had to undergo chemotherapy treatments while at the same time keep up with a heavy traveling schedule to keep the company going. With two young children in tow, the company's future was doomed. To make matters worse, we were organizing the National Achievers Congress at the Hong Kong Colosseum. And it had a total sitting capacity of 12,500 people. At a point in time, only 250 tickets were sold. And we had only about eight weeks to turn the Congress into a success. My partner pleaded with his doctor to let him continue the chemo. My partner pleaded with his doctor to let him continue the chemotherapy treatment in Hong Kong. In between treatments, he led the sales force to knock on doors after doors, and he worked from early morning to the date of the night to increase the number of participants. I will never forget what Richard once told me. He said, when I set out to accomplish a goal, it means the world to me. Goal setting is an integral part of my self-esteem. I put in my honor as a human to make it work. I'm willing to even die to achieve my goal. If I set a goal and do not believe in achieving my goal, life is not worth living. These shocking statements originally did not sit well with me. Over the years, we have broken one record after another and leading our company from strength to strength. I realized there was a tremendous amount of wisdom and truth in my partner's work ethos for winners in life. I learned that when winners fail, they fail gloriously and successfully. In 1995, my partner stood on the stage Without hair, and at the National Achievers Congress in Hong Kong, he inspired the participants with his indomitable spirit and fierce determination to make dreams come true. He told the audience, don't quit until you win. You are not out of the race until you quit. It can be a long corner, 
but it's just around the corner. Success can be a long corner, but it is just around the corner. After that amazing success, there were celebrations and jubilations all over the company. But little did we know that it was only but the come before another storm. In fact, when that storm hit us, it was more like a tsunami. Prior to the hits of the Asian crisis, we made a very bad investment and lost everything. We were at the brink of bankruptcy and needed millions of dollars to bail ourselves out. And that's when we discovered that professor failure can be a much better trainer than professor success. In fact, she can offer the best test for commitment, attitude, character, and behavior, and through it all, bring out the best from all of us. If we learn from Mr. Failure and act on his powerful lessons, the deeper we fall, the higher we can bounce back from any setbacks. After every fall, we can rise up wiser and stronger as humans. At that point, we needed to rake in more than $4 million within four months or else our world would come crashing down. We decided to change our business model again. We asked ourselves, if education can change lives and help achieve exponential growth, can we accelerate the technology transfer and results for our clients? The resulting epiphany helped us to redesign our game-changing architecture and innovate a completely new way of running seminars. At this point, we were happy to know that our model has by then been adopted by many of our counterparts in the industry, and it has been a blessing to them. Currently, Success Resources is arguably the largest seminar organizer in the world. Our personal development seminars are probably the longest, most established, and most successful series of such seminars in the marketplace. We represent some of the biggest names and the most respected experts in the industry. Through various programs, we have helped to share cutting edge knowledge and expertise online and through bricks and mortar to clients in more than 60 countries. No other company has been able to match our record in terms of global reach, influence, and results. Success resources have been helping people from different cultures and through multiple languages to achieve greater successes in life. We have helped to transform many lives and earn the admiration and respect of many people from all over the world. Looking back, if success resources had not failed and clung on to the verge of corporate death, we would not be compelled to reinvent the company. Our dream would not have become a worldwide movement. Failure is part and parcel of a successful life. The only way to avoid failure is to live for nothing and do nothing. Life will not be worth the living. Failure acts as a signpost on the journey to success. It is a good servant, but a bad master. When you take failure by its horns and respond to failure positively, it can change the way you live your life and put you on track to achieve success. Why is handling failures important? Failures are feedback to correct you and help you learn and improve. They can invoke a commitment to change your positive attitude, character and behavior, all of which qualities are essential for achieving success. As mere detours on the journey of life, Failures can correct you so that you can achieve better results. They compel you to develop new knowledge and skills. Failures help you inculcate positive values and bring out the best from you. Enable you to inculcate many positive values, including humility, self-regulation, grit, and resilience. These values can stay with you long after you've forgotten many classroom lessons. They compel you to go further and faster to your desired. They can compel you to go further and faster to your desired destination. Failures can help you develop vital qualities to achieve success. 
Failures are a much better teacher than success. To be a winner in life, you need to go and grow through every failure. Failures spur you to reflect on desired outcomes and drive you to resolve whatever challenges to achieve them. If you learn from a failure and act on its powerful lessons, you can bounce back from any failure and rise up higher than before. Rise up as a wiser and stronger person and be shaped and molded for higher calling and for greater achievement. How then should you respond to failure? First, preempt. First, preempt and prepare for failures and respond to the failures proactively. Learn how to fail successfully so as to achieve enduring success in your life. If you live without preparing for potential and possibilities of failures, you cannot live effectively. Successful people prepare for contingency plans to manage changing landscapes and scenarios. The more you stretch yourself to go further in life, the higher are the possibilities of going through a failure. Therefore, prepare for failure. More importantly, develop skills to handle failures and respond to them proactively. Develop a failure-proof mindset, a mindset to go and grow through every failure. There is nothing wrong with failure. It is how you exp There is nothing wrong with failure. It is how you respond to a failure that makes it good or bad. We can grumble, grouse, and gripe about failure. As a result, it can dim our view of our life. And that's what happened to many people. Tragically, there are people who are defeated before they experience their failures and sometimes even before they leave their house. They feel more comfortable to choose an easier option than face a challenge in life. Many are more inclined to stay on in their old ways or go back to their old ways. They have already failed or chosen to fail in their minds and that is one of the worst failures. You can turn the tide by developing a failure-proof mindset, a mindset to make full use of failures and leverage on failures to go higher in life. It starts with a choice, a choice to see failure as an opportunity and not as a problem, a choice to take massive action to turn a failure into a feedback to make you a better person. Remember, failure is not final unless you fail to learn from it and press on to a higher level of achievements. Take full responsibility for failure. Responsibility is made up of two words, response and ability. In other words, develop accountability and exercise your ability to respond to every failure. You, not, you may not be able to change the challenges. However, you can change your response to them. Find meaning in those experiences and benefit from those experiences. You may not be able to change the situation, but you can rise above the situation and find purpose in the situation. Take massive action to live a better life. Instead of feeling like a victim, you can focus on your dream and not overdwell on the failure and press on to become a victor on the journey of life. Of overcome failure, fourth, Overcome fear of failure. Very often, it is not failure that has stopped many people on their journey to success. It is the fear of failure. It is unfortunate that when they run away from fear of failure, they also run away from the fruits of success. Failure is only a temporary setback. It will become terminal when you give up trying and believing that you can succeed. If you don't quit, you will never lose. When you quit, failure becomes permanent and you are out of the race forever. Fifthly, nip failures at its butt. The path of failure and destruction is strewn with small little errors and mistakes that snowball over time. If your mind is open, if your mind is open, you will be able to sense the signs leading to a failure. Unfortunately, those signs are frequently ignored and are not managed in a positive, prompt, and proper way. 
the conscience eventually becomes numbed to negative thoughts, negative words, and negative behavior. These actions are hardwired into the mind and they become a habitual way of life leading to a failure. And that is why you need to learn from every failure. If you do not learn from the failure, you have failed a second time and in one of the worst possible ways. Sixthly, press on to dream and succeed. Life has taught us that the person who eventually succeeds is the person who never runs away from a failure. Winners are people who will never give up. They develop tenacity, grit, and resilience to press on to success. The race may seem long, but the finishing line is just around the corner. Don't give up on your dream. When you continue to dream, failures will be less formidable and easier to overcome. Seventh, learn how to successfully fail your way to success. Throughout my life, failures have become stepping stones to success and not millstones around my neck. It has softened me, strengthened me, and enlightened me. It has softened me in the sense that it has humbled me and made me more compassionate. I can understand and feel for people who are facing challenges in their life. It has made me a more empathetic and approachable person. Failures strengthen me to become a wiser and better person. To, be, to overcome failures, I had to put in more effort to strengthen major life skills. I have to improve my knowledge, attitude, skills, and habits, all of which have made me a strong person. In the process of resolving downsides of failures, I have learned how to persist and persevere so as to achieve desired outcomes and results. I became more resilient in facing other challenges in life. Failures have enlightened me to realize there are many Patrick Lewis out there who are facing different kinds of challenges. I want to inspire them with how I turn failures and downsides into an advantage of a higher order. Serve them so that they will not be left behind on the highways and byways of life. Instead, they can become leaders for the good of society. In short, without confronting failures, I would never have truly lived and succeeded in anything. In conclusion, please don't let any failure go to waste. There is a proverbial phoenix that can soar to the stars from the failure. And that winner can be you. There is a proverbial phoenix that can soar to the stars from the failure. And that winner can be you. Thank you.